Alexander speaking. Hey, Doc, it's me. Michael, how are you? Doc, not good at all. Well, we spent a lot of time over the years discussing how negative actions lead to negative thoughts as much as... Because of the compounding of your classical low self-esteem with your assorted sexual hang-ups, the desperate search for the easy answer in life, and your profound narcissism, reality will have a habit of handing you a repeated kicking. Anyway, what's up? No, Doc, put it like that. I'm afraid I ain't got much hope. Have you been acting out again, Michael? <sighs> you know, a little bad, Doc. What about the bad, Michael? Tell me. Okay, well, things are... I gotta tell you, Doc. They're awful. I'm making bad decisions here. And other people are picking up the tab for it. My family left me. They won't even take my phone calls, but... But I did meet this guy, Solomon Richards. You might have heard of him. Richards Majestic? Yeah, we're doing some work together. <laughs> In the movies. Can you fucking believe that? I'm a movie producer. Well, I'm glad to hear things are looking up. But you shouldn't look for validation outside of yourself. Validation isn't a label. It comes from within. Any other violent outbursts, Michael? <sighs> sometimes I'm fine, Doc. Sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I'm two different people. I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. There's a part of me, Doc, I just can't seem to control. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? Well, you know, I've, I've been a good boy in that regard. I'm making real progress, Doc. We are making progress, Michael. You're finally listening to me. Great. Since I pulled that house apart, Doc, I ain't... Been myself. Not at all. You know, therapy can really help you, Michael. Which is why you should be really pleased with what you're doing. But I'm gonna have to stop you there. Oh, and there is one thing. Phone sessions are a little more expensive. Obviously. Obviously. But so fulfilling. Let's speak again soon. You're cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, team. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist, brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie.
Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grave Seat. Get there. Get them going in speed. you 2.7 millimeters. I thought like one of you two was for real. So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh, the fool wants to race us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. Coming up now, man. Beat in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here it comes. I'll tell you about that later. They can stop with us back here. We're gonna get right up behind them. They're on the wrong side of the road. I'll stay on him. Now come if you can handle it. Stay on 
grown-up team, they'll stop eventually. Let's do this! Let's go! Our patience will be rewarded. Stay with them. You know how fast you were going? Yeah, I know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we are sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. 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 Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Do it! All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pipe-sized prick! You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Go on! You're that Johnson's Johnson. Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Dead and Weston's Holding Company, if that's what you mean. Ah, keep talking. I'm enjoying this. Let's assume you're talking about the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Big Horn in South LS. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. No more. Don't hang up. I, uh, I think I love you. Devin's lonely lawyer says go to Hayes Auto in South LS, so that's where I'll be waiting. We'll see about that. I vote we indulge his childish need to play. Besides, it's his head on the block if they get scratched. Is it? 
it just the smell of green, or is there some other thing with this guy and you? You know, it feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional woman who's doing her job. And leave it at that. No sexual harassment in the workplace, T. Not on my watch. I'm serious. Both of you, back off her. Hey, your car is still all right, right? Good to see you taking this seriously, Frank. Good management. If I'm finna do this, I'm finna do it right. So, uh, your car, right? <laughs> My car is fine. Gee, I hope so, because I'm in charge of this shit, and I will dock your pay. The stains on the seat were here when I got in. Gentlemen, I love you all. Hit and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom. Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now. Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Like, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick. Follow him to the lockup. Someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. <laughs> <laughs> 